you guys, welcome back to Acrylic Painting with Julie E. I am Julie E. And today we are going to play everyone's favorite game show, Will It Sell? <laughs> so far we have tested Lucas Krill Paints um, for the first time and um, I did it in this painting here called Tidal Pool and got some really unexpected results. I, I wasn't expecting it to sell, but it did as soon as um, the torch hit it and got some really cool looking little cells. And so seeing that, I wanted to make sure it wasn't just a fluke, it wasn't just a one-off, so we tried it again with this one and um, we were basically seeing if it would sell in the mixed media girl pouring medium also. It's just a slight bit but not much. But it definitely sells in the Elmer School Glue. Not very much in the mixed media girl pouring medium. And so this time we are testing it with American Flood Flow Troll and Liquitex Gloss Medium, the green label. And I uh, mixed them with just a squirt of the gloss medium and one part paint, mixed it together, and then added about three parts of the US Floetrol. And we're gonna do another flip cup because I think that's kind of the best indicator for cells. I like testing my paints with a flip cup to see how they react. And so that's what we're going to do. We have got again the mint, the Prussian blue, the indigo, and the arctic. And there is paint on the outside, not the inside, so it shouldn't be a problem. As long as it doesn't flake off everywhere like it just did. Okay, so um, since I know already also that the Arctic and the Mint kind of do some lacy cool things, I'm going to start with that on the bottom. So let's put some of the Arctic on the bottom. Remember the Arctic was a sinker. That stuff sank on me. Uh, let's go next with the Russian. There we go. These consistency of these are, let's do that mint gem, are basically a mound. Not a mound on a mound per se, but a good mound. Let's say it that way. All right, and then there's the indigo. Oh, that's pretty color. Let's go back in with the arctic. And a little bit more Prussian. You don't need too much. This is just a 12 by 12. Um, and a little bit more mint. There we go. Ew. Um, do I want any more? Do I, do I? Yeah, let's put a little bit more Prussian in. A little bit more Prussian, a little bit more indigo. There we go. Hopefully it won't be too dark. All right. There's our cut. I don't know if you can see it. And okay. On a mark, get set, sploosh. Okay, just gonna let that sit for a second. Do its magic. Um, while I got you here, I can show you dry results from my live appearance on Artapalooza Wednesday night. Um, it is called Artapalooza. It's a live show every Wednesday night with Tish Winter hosts it. And I was trying to use up some leftover paints and I should have known better because some were just school glue water pouring medium. Others had um, some varnish, some um, Vallejo satin varnish in them and they didn't like each other but they are kind of still super cool. Um, I'm 
kind of digging them, even with all the cracks and everything. But yeah, I'm going to hold on to these because I have a super, super friend and she's starting a YouTube channel. She's basically my best friend. <laughs> and, um, she's starting a YouTube channel and it's called Just Janice. And she can make something gorgeous out of anything. I'm telling you, she is magic with mixed media. Um, that's not the only thing she's going to be doing on her channel, though. I believe she's going to be doing alcohol ink. She's going to be doing acrylic pouring. And, uh, yeah, all kinds of really cool stuff that I just, I'm amazed at. Um, here, let me show you some of her work. I have this hanging up by my little neon name sign. She made this. How beautiful is that? Look at that texture. Can you see that texture in there? She's gonna show you how to do that. How to make the little gears and everything. She makes most of these little gears and everything. She doesn't buy them separate. She makes them with polymer clay and um, molds. And yeah, I just, so pretty, so pretty. So yeah, that's some of the stuff you can look forward to. And that's why I'm holding on to those canvases because I can't wait to see some of the inspiration she's going to give me. And I'm going to try and create something cool out of these. Um, her channel is Just Janice. And if it's not up and running already, it will be soon. And if it's up and running, the link is in the description. And she's going to be joining us on Mondays on our, well, we call it a train. Wow like a Locomotive Monday. I'm just calling it Loco Monday. <laughs> so yes, she's gonna be the engine. She's going to be our engine for Loco Mondays. It'll be me, it'll be Janice, just Janice, it's the name of her channel. Then it'll be me. Then it'll be um, Acrylic Art with Mary, Mary Kirk. And then it will be, um, K and K create, Kristen and Kayla, and then Angie will still be the caboose. Yay! And then when Lance from um, Pouring Together with Lance Travis, I believe he's still gonna drop in from time to time. So yeah, keep watching us, check the descriptions, see if he's got a special link in there for one of his videos for a premiere maybe on a Monday night. We hope, we hope. But he is super busy, so, and we understand that. Okay, I think this has had time to set up, and um, let's go ahead and uh, pull it, huh? All right, here we go. One, two, I think I'm gonna kinda twist a flip. Twist a flip and do a lip. How about that? All right, here we go. Ooh, pretty cut. Okay, I'm digging that. Looks almost like a dolphin jumping out of the water there. All right, let me get my torch. There we go. Got a couple big bubbles. Ooh, ooh. Okay, those are air bubbles, not cells. But I think I'm gonna get cells because I see some popping. I don't use a lot of Floetrol Liquitex gloss medium mixes. I don't use a lot of that recipe, but I know a lot of people love it and like it, so we're going to test it, right? Huh. Okay, we got air bubble cells. Can't tell if that one there is a little air bubble cell or not. Hmm. Okay, let's stretch it. See if that helps at all. See if that will help. Don't want to lose all those ribbons. I like the ribbons. There we go. Oh, we lost our dolphin. To be expected there, right?
see it going. There we go. Oh, come on. There. And off of that corner. Come on, this way. This way, then this way. There we go. There we are. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, there's a milkiness to it that I don't care for. And it's one of the things I don't care for with Floetrol is getting some of that milkiness unless you mix super, super thick paints. I don't know. I think... I think maybe you have to mix it like less Floetrol to paint, possibly. Maybe I'm mixing too much Floetrol to paint. Maybe it has to be mixed one-to-one -one or two-to-one at the most, maybe. Hopefully it'll dry darker, I'm hoping. All right, let's give it another torch. See if we can get those little champagne cells that were really cute. Okay, there's the freckles, little air bubble cells. Yeah, usually if I go through a line like this, it'll just boom in the school glue. over torching if I keep it up. See like right there, that's an over torch. Okay, yeah. Leave it to me to not be able to get uh, <laughs> flow trial to sell. <laughs> I always heard that flow trial was um, the cell booster, the magic potion to, um, yeah, getting getting cells, but not for me, never has been. I don't know what I do wrong. And I'm sure the Liquitex gloss maybe didn't help, I don't know. Just my my thoughts, my theories. But let me spin it around. It's still pretty though, it's pretty cool. Definitely do something with this for embellishment. So let's hope it dries. Let's hope it dries well. All right, be back in a snap. And we're back with dry results. Check that out. I love the lines. It did not um, get a lot of the cells that I was expecting. I thought it would probably react even more in Floetrol, but it did not, which was very surprising to me. But some of the um, air bubble cells you know, little measly things that kind of pop up and stuff when they stretched out, they're really pretty. There's a cute one. There's a nice big one, that one's pretty. I like that. But yeah, I like this. I like it. But no, it did not react. The paints did not react the same way in the Floetrol as they did in the School Blue. Another reason why I love School Blue Pouring Medium. Okay. I hope that answered some questions out there, if you were wondering how reactive Lucas Pro paints were in Floetrol with a little bit of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. Not that reactive. Not that reactive at all. So, okay. Have a great day. Loves and hugs, y'all. Bye!